Hey, uh, welcome back everyone. Um, when we left off, we were at the barber shop. And in this installment, I believe we have a little bit of item collection and story progression. So, first of all, sit. How about a quick styling, you ask? We oui, mature, sure, of course, uh, replies the barber, but uh, allow me to correct that receding hairline of yours with my patented, patented special propriety technique macrobiotic styling reweaving just have a seat in the chair please here says the barber take a look at this mirror and remember what you look like when I'm done you won't be able to recognize your own hairline why you'll be a different man Ugh. The years have ravaged your young face Larry you think to yourself yeah that is exactly what I need a new look I'll make bachelorette Barbie change her tune Okay, go for it, you tell the barber. Allow me to begin with a thorough cleansing to rid your hair and scalp of any possible pollutants, says the barber. I assure you I use only the trendiest products, all organically grown and available only in undersized, overpriced, biodegradable bottles. You wonder to yourself, what will I look like when he's done? Will I be handsome? Will I find will I ever find true love? Whoa. Whoa. Ah <laughs> sensor bars. Uh you certainly have interesting daydreams, says the barber. Hey Brutus, get out of here. And yeah, that's the that's the dog from the first one who pees on your shoes if you stand around too long. I'm not sure if I included him. But uh you know what? While we're waiting, let's go into action filth level. And yeah. I think we could handle it. <laughs> you dirty little bastard. Exactly. Uh, your hair is clean and conditioned, says the barber. Now for the special styling. However, in the future, may I recommend W <laughs> 10 W40 and no more than 3,000 miles between oil changes. And yeah, he's hacking away. All done, says the barber. Take a look in the mirror, what do you think? Uh... Beautiful. Oh well, you can't judge a book by its cover. That'll be fine, you tell the barber. Say, you ask him, exactly how could you know I was getting uh, microbiotic styling? By the price! Oh, drum fill. That'll be a hundred bucks, says the barber. Thanks, I guess. You say, flipping the barber one of your C-notes. The barber replies, have a nice day. Alright. Uh, let's see. Now, I guess we're going to head up this way. Maybe. Um, bar. Now we'll go right, and then up again. Uh, I hope I don't screw things up. Okay, cool. Okay, uh, let's see. Look, I can't really remember where. The sign of the. Okay, um. Oh. Get lotion. You're not close. I'm, I can't remember where this lotion was. You have to get suntan lotion in here. Uh, the back wall, maybe? Get lotion. You're not close enough. You grab a bottle of SPF 90 while you picture a bachelor at Barbara rubbing it all over you. Cool. Uh, talk to... man. Hey buddy, you say, have you heard now I'm incredibly wealthy? Gosh, he replies, I'm so impressed. Hey, man. I'd like to pay for this, uh, you tell the clerk. Do you have change for a hundred? No, he says, but feel free to give me a big tip. 
But of course, my good man, you tell him suddenly putting on airs. Have a hundred, in fact. Have a hundred. In fact, have two. Money means nothing to me. Like, thanks, dude, he tells you. Now, let me get back to sleep. He concludes with the familiar, have a nice day. Alright. And there's one more thing we have to check. And, yeah. Fill cup. Okay. A uh, cup that large might take a long time to fill. Okay, good, good advice. Let's speed this up. A cup that large might take forever to fill. Speed up! Speed up! Finally, you top it off while you carefully consider how you're going to pick it up. Okay. Ah, what the hell, this isn't real life, but merely an incredible simulation. You decide to put it in your pocket along with everything else. Okay, now we gotta slow down. Okay, yeah, that's too slow. That's a good speed. Alright, and, uh, yeah, check this out. Um, save game. Let's play! Alright, uh, yeah, if you leave here without paying, check this out. Suddenly, the woman behind the counter comes to life. Hold right there, partner, she cries. You ain't gonna rustle, <laughs> rustle no soda off of me. Oh, shoot you dead. Yeehaw, screams the clerk. You're one dead coke sucker. Enunciate carefully, please. Co <laughs> one dead coke sucker. Uh, okay, keep on muddling. Restore. Let's play. And this time with a little less failure. Pay clerk. Here's a hundred dollar bill you offer. Okay, partner, says the clerk. Too bad we uh, don't keep any change at this time of night. It's broad daylight, you protest. Have a nice day, she concludes. Okay. And now we are almost ready to take our cruise. But, um... Oh, you know what? I think I missed something back here. Let's see. What? Ha ha ha! Uh, yeah, that's filthy. I don't know if anyone, any of you caught that, but, uh, the yellow liquid splashing behind the dumpster. Alright. Anyway, let's move on. Uh, no. And you know what? I think... Oh, here we go. Alright, yeah, this is... Say, look, the store is finally open for business. That store was closed this whole time. But, um, now it's finally open. Do I have to open Okay. Alright. I'm really digging these auto doors. And talk to a woman. Hi, beautiful. You attempt to lay on your smooth mouth. Oh, wait, you, <laughs> you you attempt to lay a little smooth mouth on the lovely uh, Latin lady. My name is Larry, Larry Laffer. Buenos dias, senor. Dos asistiante bello bueno. La Senorita El Tacos. Good day, sir. How may I help you? Suddenly, she smiles broadly as if she recognizes you. Her smile makes you glad you took Spanish in high school. Too bad you slept through it. Aw, oh, what the hell. You decided to br brush the dust off your Spanish by attempting conversation with the lovely Senorita. Perhaps you could begin by contemplating, uh, complimenting her on her extremely good looks. El peso la guarda se primo bubitos, you tell her. Your ears remind me of whale breasts. Smooth. Her face brightens further. She seems genuinely interested in you. Your Spanish must not be that bad after all. Si, uh, <laughs> si, sa, la luna, el gros et pupi doggy, la bambino, la señorita reportitos. Yes, but the moon is full, and you are a chihuahua. Whoa, speaking is one thing, but understanding is another. Her response baffles you completely. You have no idea what she means. Of course, that's never stopped you before. El pencilo es tubular, rigido amarello, you tell her. My pencil is long, hard, and yellow. Alright, uh, that'll do for now, and when you come back, part six of Let's Play Leisure Suit Larry 2. See ya.